Well, good morning. It's Long Haul Tanker, Straight Razor Shaving with Long Haul Tanker. And today is Friday. What was that? The fourth is today the 14th, honey? The 10th. The 10th, sorry. Today is the 10th, Friday the 10th of uh, February 2023 at uh, approximately 1145 uh, a.m. Central Time, and of course, we're doing a straight razor shave, and I've got three days, three days uh, of growth on my face. Uh, uh, what would I call it? Uh, uh, shavus interruptus, but we'll talk about that as we progress on <laughs> in our shave uh, today. I I'm kind of kind of doing a hodgepodge uh, this morning. Uh, today's largely uh, test shaves, uh, backup razors, uh, um, and you'll see what I'm talking about as I go on. You may, may remember a few weeks ago, uh, my Wacker problem child. I uh, spent some time again on it, uh, on the Zulu Gray on Wednesday uh, with a uh, slurry. So we're gonna go with the uh, Hand to Schmidt. Uh, let's see if we get a better uh, picture with this new camera. If you saw my little two minute video last night, the ordeal, and we're still going through it now. I'll tell you about that as we move along. So there's the hand of Schmidt with a beautiful scales. Uh, it's an 8-8 eight, eight razor with a uh, square, slight Spanish point. Uh, there's a little bit of an indentation on the, uh, on the toe here, on the nose. So there's that. And the other uh, problem child that I have had since I have owned it, it's never been in rotation and only occasionally used on my uh, head shave. And that's this uh, uh, Dovo uh, Colonel Conk uh, edition, but it is a Dovo. And uh, it's got these nice scales on it. And this is a rescale job. Let me turn that over so you can see it better. Uh, and this is a rescale job uh, that uh, the guy that I bought it from uh, had done on it. And I also spent a good little bit of time on the Zulu uh, with this one because it's a very fine grit and, and I'll got a little bit to say about that uh, as well. And so there's that. I'm gonna, and, we're, and so these are my two test shave razors today. If we need to fall back to a uh, backup razor, uh, I've got my uh, Fox Cutlery from Christmas with the real nice scales and the barber's notch and also uh, finished uh, by me on a uh, Zulu, Zulu Gray. So I'll just set that right over here. And the soap this morning, we're going with the Chella uh, uh, Crema de Baba uh, Aloe Vera. And this is the new one I believe that they've got out. Uh, and it has a, a pleasant scent. I've used it, I don't know if I've used it on camera, but I, I have used it once or twice before. It uh, started kind of making the rounds uh, a few weeks ago. And for my brush, here's something you may not have seen. It's been one of my little brushes uh, from the windowsill up there in the shower. And uh, it's a uh, Vilong horsehair, uh, approximately, give or take, I'm going to say take, <laughs> 18 millimeter uh, on that. So it's a very small brush by my standards. And so, well, let's get started. I got a nice uh, hot, I got a bowl of nice hot water below me here. I had a nice hot shower. And I can't wait to get rid of these three days worth of whiskers. It's just uh, the, uh, and here's how all that came about. The way I got to three, uh, three days worth of growth. If you saw my uh, little two minute
two minute video from last night, we decided to uh, order some new cell phones. And as it happens, over the years, we've turned into Apple users on the iPhone. And all these years, we've always used iTunes to back up our phone. And you guys correct me if I'm wrong, I could go to the internet and search it out. But I seem to remember uh, Apple announcing they were no longer going to support iTunes, but yet it still continued to work. You hook it up, it backs it up, you can restore from it, you can update uh, the, uh, what do they call it, iOS or OS operating system from that as well, as well as a direct download. But anyway, so we uh, ordered the, uh, and I always get this right, Pro Max 14, 14 Pro Max, I think it is. And so we were expecting them to come in on Friday. Today, they came in on Wednesday. And so we started to work on them. Well, I did. I said, you know, we, I, then my wife, I begged for my wife's help. And she came in and assisted. And, uh, and the, the iTunes just didn't, I, I backed up my old iPhone on it, no problem. But the new iPhone kept asking for a password um, for the, uh, the encrypted uh, restoration. Well, had, it didn't ask me for one to begin with. And so what am I saying? And so I'm trying every password uh, I can think of and uh, 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 which led to changing the password in on the what's the one in uh, on your iPhone and iPad uh, I you know identity and so I changed that like three or four times and and which is frustrating because you never want to change those things or rarely do you want to change those things because then all of a sudden you got a world of passwords and it becomes impossible to remember and you write them down and where did I put that and do I have a special file? And of course, you know, that just became a nightmare. All right, here's my little brush all loaded up. I'm going to do this more of a, I don't know, kind of a spot, you know. Well, I say that I probably won't. Which means I'll probably end up loading the brush two or three times. And so one thing led to another and I ended up losing almost all of my saved music, uh, both from my old iPhone and my backup in iTunes, which was intolerable. Not to mention that it didn't give me any of my apps, didn't give me any of my passwords, didn't give me any um, of the work stuff that I need on my cell phone. And it just, and then the eSIMs on the new one wouldn't activate, so I had to call Verizon for them to activate. And now both my old iPhone and my new iPhone are both activated on the same line. And that's confusing. Although I did get some of my old passwords in my work-related apps, I had to download each and every one of those laps anew and get the setup in them, right? And so the old phone did assist in that. Uh, and we were working on these things from about 12 noon yesterday to 2100, 9 o'clock last night. And we're still not done. It's still hooked up and doing something over there. Um, we were from other backups on other computers. <coughs> we were able to restore the uh, music on the old phone 
and now we're doing a backup on the uh, primary iTunes of the old phone with all of the music and pictures and everything. You know, I like to take pictures on the road, right? And uh, once that is done, I think we'll be done in about 30 minutes or so. And uh, then we're going to see if we can do the transfer to the new phone of of all the music and pictures. That's the main thing I've got concerned about. I've got all my apps, my work apps, personal apps. I've got them all set up and good to go. All right, let's give this. So we're using the uh, Wacker and let's see how it goes. First couple of strokes, so far so good. If you're watching me on YouTube this morning, I want to say thank you. Um, um, appreciate all of you. Got 275 subscribers now, and it's just amazing that this guy who drives a truck who loves to straight uh, shave with a straight razor is able to attract you guys and keep you interested in my day-to-day -day goings on. I've been home since uh, mon uh, since my DOT physical Monday, got into the yard about 11.30, home about My truck went to the shop because I had a uh, major crack longer than three inches in the line of sight. DOT regulations require all windshields to be replaced if there is such a break meeting certain specifications, and mine did. And my compressor blew up. Remember when I was in minus uh, 10 degree Fahrenheit last Friday, a week ago today, doing my unload? delivery. So if you're watching me on YouTube, thank you. Welcome. Glad to have you. Hit the like and subscribe button. Go on to uh, the www.theshavingcondre.com. Verbal note, put tag here. I'm just astounded at how well this, uh, of course, the trick always is, how's it going to do in the follow-ups? Um, honed it on Wednesday, shaving with it on Friday. I was going to shave with it yesterday, but because of the phone falderol, 
uh, unable to do so. And uh, so that's how we ended up with three days of growth. Go on over to the shaving cadre, join the conversation. It's a lot of, it, it is, it's a lot of fun. You know, you can put in as much or as little time into it as you want to. Um, that's a voluntary endorsement. I get no remuneration, but I'm happy to do it because it's, you know, how can you not watch Bill M and not want to be a part of the shaving cadre uh, with all of his antics? Bill is just full of antics. All in good spirit, my friend, all in good humor. Oh, for that matter, Barbara Dave. Mm. Clint Eastwood is Dirty Harry <clears throat> said in that uh, movie with the motorcycle cops, David Soul and uh, uh, the guy that played Spencer and uh, in his own series, I forget his name, but uh, Hal Holbrook. He said, a man's got to know his limitations. And I reached the end of mine uh, yesterday. I know I can't fool with those cell phones anymore. I've got to be able to give them my old cell phone, buy the new cell phone and say, fix it. And walk out, you know, go have lunch. Well, we'll have it ready in a couple hours. Okay, fine. That's fine. Put nine hours plus and still going? No, it's re absolutely, dare I say, dumbass ridiculous. But who's the dumbass, me or Verizon? I don't know. Expecting, yeah, I'm not exactly computer illiterate, but I'm not a computer genius either. I can I can plug stuff in and push that button and this button, but that's about as good as it gets. And the more the trucking companies become computerized, um, you know, which they're swiftly on the path of doing. I had to call my my good friend, safety manager, and get some company codes on some of the apps that I have to have this morning to get them to work. But let me tell you that I say a man's got to know his limitations. No, seriously, this is we're talking about uh, stroke and heart attack kind of stuff that a man gets so worked up because you try something and it doesn't work. Don't try something that doesn't work. And uh, you know, and, and you, your company is going to. My, you know, I've been home for four or five days. My company is going to be calling me very soon. Maybe today. I was surprised it wasn't yesterday. It might not be till tomorrow. 
But I don't know. And I gotta have a working cell phone. Um, no, that one of the reasons and I'm bouncing all over the place here, cause that's how I've been for the last 18 to 24 hours. I couldn't even sleep last night. I woke up about three o'clock. I had to go to the other bedroom cause I was bouncing all around and didn't want to disturb my wife too much. A little bit's all right, but not too much. And uh, I did get about four hours good sleep in the spare room t last night or this morning, early this morning. Well, I say four hours, closer to three hours, but it don't matter. I'm using this little brush. And I, I, I won't say an homage to, but in experimentation, watching Martin Wood, I think I said the name correctly, from UK. And um, I've been watching him a lot lately. He's a good guy. I don't know if he's a member of the Shaving Cadre or not, but I know he's in close with Jared and Bill. And I, I've heard him mention their names before. And he's got, I think he's got one of the new Dovo Fokker Bites I like saying that word, fucker bites. And the United States Postal Service tells me that I'm expecting something about 4.30 this afternoon. Giggles and grins. Okay, we did all of that side with the, uh, with the whacker and it was going so well, I forgot about the uh, Dovo. And so let's do that on this side over here. And the thing I wanted to say about refreshing these trouble razors that I've got. Um, I've, you know, I've taken them back to the 1K, 2K, brought them up through the progression, finished on the 30,000, go back to maybe a Zulu or Arkansas. Um, that's actually not bad for this razor. Um, but when you know the bevel is set, you got good angle, bevel set, flat stone I'm talking about. You don't have to go back to the lower grits all the time. And you may not be accomplishing as quickly as you would like. It also, you know, kind of depends on how many razors you've got and how much time you can put into it. Uh, you're going to take off less material, steel. Using a lower grit stone like a Zulu or an Arkansas, or a codicle. And 
Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. Um, you're going to take off less steel using a lower grit stone, maybe a finishing stone like a Zulu. And I only mention that one in particular because it's the one I use on the, both of these razors. And it may not work the first time. It may not work the second time. It may not work the 20 or 30th time. But just keep going. Set it aside. Test it out. If it doesn't work, set it aside. Come back at a later time when you have time to put another 200, 300 laps on it. And uh, eventually, it's going to fall into place without... Well, with just the right amount of steel removal, I will say, because you're using a finer grit stone, you're not taking heavy, uh, you're not taking heavy material off using a uh, a coarser grain, and eventually it's just going to fall right into place. Now, I'm not saying that's where these are yet. I've heard other people mention that you can use a lower grit, uh, a higher grit stone. to uh, even set a bevel if you want to. It just takes time. And that's all. But you can preserve your razor. You know, and that's generally what's important to all of us is preserving the steel. And whether we're thinking about our great-grandkids or not, it doesn't matter. It's yours. Do what you want with it. Uh, but you know you've got the bevel set. There's just, you know, whether whatever the issues are with these two stones that I've got, it doesn't really matter because they'll either eventually work themselves out or not. And you just keep going. But I'm feeling better. Had a nice, hot, relaxing shower, and I'm having a nice shave this morning. And so I'm finding my Finding my kumbaya zone. I think there's certain assumptions about this new uh, iPhone 14 Pro Max that uh, are not at altogether compatible with a trucker's lifestyle and that is uh, the only charging apparatus they give you is an AC adapter which I've got a couple of 
AC adapters in the truck um, based on uh, I got an inverter in the truck and the truck was made with an inverter and converts uh, battery power to DC power. And there's like three or four AC outlets in the truck and a whole bunch of USB port, traditional USB port. And this isn't, you know, every time you buy a new cell phone, you got to buy all new cables. You got to buy all new adapters. You got to buy all new this and that to go with it, and of course, after you've gone through several rounds of this over several years, my first cell phone was 1999, almost 2000. And so 23 years of buying new cell phones and new equipment, I knew that's part of the game. Yeah, watching uh, Martin just dab here and there, here and there. I thought, okay, I'll give it a try. I mean, it's not like I haven't done this before, but it's not my favorite method of uh, lathering. This Dovo blade is such a nice blade, uh, you know, vintage, historic, etc. I don't know what the occasion was uh, for the Colonel Conk uh, stamping. Yeah, I'm sure it's some promotion that Dovo and Colonel Conk, uh, Colonel Conk soap makers went into an agreement on. And I have said, I don't know if this is true or not, but the uh, the change in the scale, uh, this may very well be cellulose. It may very well be uh, oxidizing the blade with the gases that come off the cellulose, et cetera. Very nice, very nice. Nothing to complain about there at all. All right, I think I'm going to stay with the uh, the Dovo for the left hand right side before I change back to the Wacker. But as you can see, uh, the great bulk of the three days of growth is gone. And, you know, if I were headed to the office, if I worked in an office, white shirt, tie suit, 
and patent loafer, loafers. <laughs> that was a joke, son. Uh, you know, I'd be tempted to stop just uh, right there. But that's not why I do this. I'm going to put some more soap on here, I think. I do like this soap. I'm a fan of, uh, and that was another reason I kind of did this, is I know watching uh, Martin Wood, Martin Woods, I, I, I know I'm butchering your name and I apologize. I should have looked before I started this morning, but I know he's a fan of the, uh, the cello soaps. Am I right on that or is it somebody else? I hope I said that right. I watched two videos last night. I watched Bill M. and Martin Wood. I started a couple others, but they ended up using DE razors and, oh, sorry, that cuts it for me. And guys I like too. Not that there's anything wrong with DE razors, but I've got too little time to watch videos. And most of the time they're at night when I'm half asleep anyway. And I want to watch guys slinging the blade on my viewing time. Now, I was looking at uh, some stuff on Amazon, how to charge these cell phones, and they're dependent. It looks like they're dependent on, especially for mobile traveling, uh, uh, battery packs, uh, because they apparently have the capability of charging wirelessly. Which, you know, that's kind of cool. Advancement in technology and all that. But you would think that the battery packs that they offer for sale, one end has the new connection to the new phone, but the other end would have the uh, traditional UBS connection so it would charge the battery pack. Oh, no. It's either AC or another... I forget what the term is. 
for the kind of wire, for the kind of cabling it takes. Um, and so there's no, from what I've discovered so far, except for a 12 volt DC cigarette lighter adapter that, and, and then they've got, and so that may be the route, but that you want to talk about old school. That's, that's old school. Um, and so take that kind of an adapter to plug in your new cabling, to plug into your phone. That's why they made USB built into all these trucks, not to mention all the new automobiles and pickup trucks and SUVs. And also the other thing that's going to be interesting to see is the difference in the video production. Of course, I'm using the side where the glass is facing me. I'm not using the three lens camera that's on the other, on the other side. y'all hear my cat? Rich, did you hear my cat? Or at least one of them. Very nice. Very nice. All right. I'm going to switch razors and go back to the whacker for the uh, right hand uh, left side. And I may you very well use it for against the grain and fi finish up the razor. I think that's it on the Dovo. It did fine. Uh, is it ready for prime time? Close. Very close. And so I may spend some more time with it on the Dovo, on the, uh, on the uh, Zulu. And, uh, but I want to, once I get it to where I really want it, I want to let it sit for a couple of months. Yes, with some oil and, you know, get it and set it off to the side for a while and see if the edge corrodes. I want to see if it's going to hold the edge. Uh, which I, even though I've got a good, a reasonably good edge on it now, uh, I don't think it's going to hold. But that's just based on past experience. Um, maybe I've gotten down to some good steel where it's not corroding or staining or if it is uh, corroding off of, uh, what did I say, celluloid scales gassing off of the scales. The nice thing about, I say the nice thing, the, the talked about advantage, what people talk about it, of the small brushes is that you can more micro place where you want the lather to go. I don't know, I still got lather all over my shirt, don't I? <laughs>
And we got five pets. We've got uh, three dogs and two cats. We got two Chihuahuas, one Jack Russell. And, and I love that Jack Russell. That's a, that's a fine breed, but I'm a cat person. I am decidedly a converted cat person about 20 years ago. When I had my first cat without dogs. The two cats are sisters, and uh, one's black and one's white. The black one has a little tuff of white between her hind legs, and the uh, white one I don't believe has any black on it at all, but my wife seems to think that she might somewhere. I'm not going to turn her upside down and find out. And they both have become quite docile. They'll jump up in my lap. When I'm at home and we're sitting in the living room watching TV or something, and they'll both jump up in my lap and just sprawl out, which I love, you know. More so the black one than the white one. The black one is the more affectionate, but both of them are not. Both of them are affectionate, but the black one more so. I don't think I did this stroke on the other side. On the lower part of the neck. Very nice. Let's show, let's just go over there and get that. I remember doing that part.
I'm gonna run up some hot water here while we're getting ready for the third pass. Cello's always been uh, a favorite soap of mine. The red one I speak of. And uh, I like the lathering qualities. I like the after uh, feel, the post shave on it. And of course, the red one, you know, everybody either like it or you don't like it, but I like that. Huh. Kind of like the back, you either like it or don't like it. It's inexpensive. Uh, nice and hot now. There might be a slowdown in business, I'm guessing, because of Super Bowl weekend. People are all excited about that and dragging their feet and not wanting to work much in the real world. <laughs>
Now, for what it's worth, I do have all of my music that I said that I lost on my iPhone in the transfer uh, on my iPad. And I've got it on an external hard drive that we use for backup purposes and also have it on an older laptop computer. So it's not like it's gone, but the ease and convenience of getting it transferred to my new phone has neither been convenient nor easy. I think that was a brush hair, a horse hair. If it's not bleeding by the time the shave is done, it don't count. As if it never happened. Like it's a game? Oh, you got a minus three today, huh? <laughs>
Let's try something. I turned the blade around, as I'm sure you could tell, so that the uh, point of the razor was going to the nostril. Yep, very nice. I saw that stuff I got sitting up there. Where's my finger? Some of that stuff I have sitting up there. Ah, my finger. There. In the windowsill up there. I got to break it out once in a while and use it. Remember, it's still there. I don't use it very much, very often, because I'm just not a big a fan anymore of uh, boar synthetic and, and horsehair. I'm just not. I have two razors that are one inch 8.8 eight razors. This is one and the other is a, a Backel vintage, old vintage premium. That is to say mint condition.
right, let's rinse it off and see what it looks like. Now on the head shave, I'm gonna start with the Dovo Colonel Conk and see how it performs. Uh, as we begin, I've got a uh, Be right back. All right, I'm back again. Had to confer with the missus for a minute. No more than a 90 seconds elapsed from the time I shut off the recording to resumed. Okay. All right, that felt great. All right, let's dry off the dry off the whacker here. Hand to Schmidt it with nice horn scales, uh, eight eight square uh, Spanish. It's also got a nice sculpted spine, and it's about a half hollow. Yeah. All right. Set that like that. Set this over here. All right. Now, head shave. Verbal tag, verbal tag marker right here. I think I said at the beginning of the video that I pulled the clippers out and buzzed the sides of the head. All right, we'll start with the Dovo.
it feels like it's doing real good. Okay. When it's that short and it's not sticking out very far, it's hard to see. I keep saying I don't need to be that precise at this stage. Usually the second or third head shave in, which puts us at about six days, and by then it's time to be buzzed again.
And even though I keep saying that, never happens. I'm always more fastidious than probably what I need to be. Actually, this Dobo shave, the uh, Dobo blade is actually performing quite well today. Maybe it knows it's getting a sister. A long lost sister from 1960 something, 64, 68. If you take my meaning. And if you don't, just drop a note and I'll tell you. I guess I ought to call it a stepsister or a half sister because it's made of stainless steel, not carbon. That's as good as I could hope to ask for. All right, let's, we got one more. We'll do the back of the neck and we'll be done. Yes, they're extra long. I know they're extra long. And every time I think about it, I try and say, I'd want to do better. And, and of course, what is better, but most people think shorter, and I try to make them shorter. I think about making them shorter, and that never happens. But I'm in no hurry. Oh, there's my company. I'm going to end it here. I got to go. Talk to you later. Thanks. See you down the road.